I hope you're doing well. I hope your week is going well for you. You know what? Today is Wednesday. If you can get through Wednesday, you've gone through half of the week already. Don't tell me that you can't get through Thursday and Friday. Come on now. Don't tell me you can't get through two more days. You got two more days after you done got through today. Because I'm going to be releasing this when this uh, video Wednesday evening. Don't tell me you can't get through Thursday and Friday. You can get through Thursday and Friday. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm doing good. I have to go to work in a little bit. But I decided to come on here because I had a little something on my mind again. Um, let me ask y'all something, right? So, and there's a little bit of construction going on outside. They're up early. It's before 8 and they're already out here. So, But I hope you can't hear it. I don't think this microphone picks up on it, though. I don't think it picked up on it yesterday. But let me ask you all something, right? And I've actually made a video about this, like, a long time ago. But I just wanted to, like, revive this topic. Can someone tell me? what the problem is with being a square why does everybody want to be you know um why does everybody want to be you know cool or you know hard or you know i even say gangster to a certain degree why does everybody want to portray that well not everybody but Certain people want to portray that image. Certain men want to portray that image. And I never really understood why, you know, why do we like kind of demonize a square? Why do we put down a square? Somebody who um, may not be that cool dude or that, you know, dude that's, you know, cool or whatever, like, why is it that the square because let's be real the square is somebody who may not have you know the street smarts and stuff like that but they usually have a lot of knowledge that's why they're called a square in the first place because they focus all their attention on quote unquote nerdy stuff such as books um, school and stuff like that we have to stop making learning this square like uncool unpopular thing to do there's nothing wrong with learning learning good things you know see the thing about it is being this cool like and maybe cool is not the best term Maybe the term that I'm looking for is a street dude. Why do we want to be some hard street dude? Like, why does every, I don't want to say every young man, but in certain, like, in certain places, um, we just have this whole, like, thing where we want to be street. We want to be hood we want to be you know hard like yeah can't nobody mess with me like why do we have to have this mentality why can't the mentality that it's out here be changed to hey i want to learn something i want to make learning cool i want to make you know studying and just gaining and acquiring skills cool I just don't get it I don't get why you know that's happened and I'll tell you my experience I've always been a square dude I'm not hood I'm not street I'm none of that and I've, I've seen these types of guys around and it just I, I pretty much know that that path 
is not going to lead you anywhere. We have to make um, we have to make being a square cool again. We have to instill value in learning, and I think that starts with putting trades back into schools. That's something that I've always preached as well. We need to put these trades back into schools. We need to have young people learning how to work with their hands. Something that you can do with your hands, uh, actual skill, even a technical skill. Like, um, I guess you can consider nursing a technical skill or some sort of like medical career. Why don't we instill these sorts of trades and, you know, skills back into, um, you know, the high schools? You know, what is wrong with somebody graduating high school with a skill? Why do they want everybody going into debt, you know, just to learn a skill? And I think that's part of the reason why we had such a rise in just this whole like you know let's be street let's be hood let's be a hardcore whatever is young people aren't taught the value of real work young people aren't taught that working hard on a real skill that's actually going to benefit society will pay off in the long term and so and then there's other factors too um today's rap music is absolutely horrible and i think that has something to do with it as well i think what something that else that has a lot to do with it is social media everybody wants to just do things for attention for clout for all this that and the other but they're not taught the real value of real work. They're not taught the value of hard work. They're not taught that your life is not going to turn out well if you want to be a street person. Because all that's going to happen is you're going to get caught up. You're going to get sent to prison. And you're going to be a... Um, a... Uh, a slave for the prison industrial complex okay and so if young people are taught this at an early age that that whole street mentality doesn't get you anywhere and they're actually taught like hey real work is what gets you somewhere in life trades skills knowing how to do something that's what gets you ahead in life you wouldn't have this whole mentality of oh I want to be you know, a um, a street person. I want to be a square. Like I say, making a square cool again. Just like they say, make America great again. <laughs> make a square cool again. Because a square has always been like the unpopular, nerdy, nerdy person. And I just never understood that. You know, I've always been a square, okay? <laughs> so I know firsthand experience on this you know I, I have firsthand experience on this topic we gotta make um we gotta make this stuff cool again we gotta make learning cool again you know and like I say this generation we you know the generation coming up has it tough Gen Z, which is my generation, by the way, but the younger Gen Z just has it tough. You know, there's all this social media, all this pressure from online, this technology. Just these are pressures that people from back in the day didn't face. This, you know, that this online thing. I mean, it's just it's really taken over. And it's caused just so much, um, you know, unneeded pressure and anxiety to act a certain way. 
and when you're going outside of the realm of being street being cool being hood right um you're seen as a lame you're seen as somebody who's just not cool you're seen as somebody who is just I don't know it, it, it's just it's just ridiculous the way that we as a society we treat um people who kind of go outside of the uh social norm of being cool the the cool person the popular person uh, the hardcore person the the hood person right um when you go outside of that you're just seen as different unfortunately like somebody like me um there's people out here that'll be like oh you talk so proper and educated that's ridiculous. I just talk normal. This is how I talk. You know? I don't get it. You know? We shouldn't glorify things that aren't going to get you ahead in life. Things that aren't going to benefit society as a whole. And being that way isn't going to benefit society. You know? somebody that has an actual skill will benefit society somebody who's knows how to do something who knows how to fix something who knows how to repair how to troubleshoot how to just do something that benefits society as a whole because running around in the streets and just being a street person that doesn't really benefit society you know It doesn't, you know, being a square, there's nothing wrong with that. And I wish more young people understood this. So if you're a young person that's watching and you feel somewhat like an outcast because you quote unquote talk proper, you actually like learning, you actually like reading books, you actually like doing work, you actually don't want to be this hardcore street person do you because once you're older and you're successful and all the people who want it to be these um, these like street people you're going to be the one that's successful in life and you're going to look at them and say wow what happened and they're going to explain, hey, you were right. I should have been the square. I should have been the one that was staying in school, studying, um, learning a natural skill, learning a natural trade. I should have been that person, right? That's what they're going to tell you once they see how successful you are. It's how successful you are. You being the square. You were nothing but a square in school, but look at you. Now you're successful. You have a nice house, a nice car, high paying job, own your own business, but you were nothing but a square. You know? You weren't a street dude. You talked proper and educated. They're going to say you were right. So keep that in mind. There's nothing wrong with being a square. We have to make being a square cool again. Make being a square great again. <laughs> you know. But uh by the way, I'm not into politics. I'm not into politics. I just you know <laughs> y'all know what I mean. But anyway, I gotta get to work, y'all. Um I really hope that you all enjoyed this video. And stay tuned for my next video. I should have one uploaded either Thursday or Friday. If not, it'll, def it'll definitely be Saturday. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great Wednesday.